Robert. I think you know why you were here. Could you tell me where you were last Tuesday night? I was at old Mrs. Benson's house. I go there once a week to keep her company. I find that a little bit hard to believe. You have given yourself away as a cunt. You are more cunty than the cuntiest cunt in all of Cuntland. You are the cunty arsonist. I don't think you'll be going anywhere for a little while, young man. At least, not on my watch. Sir, Mr. President. Yes, Digby. Apparently there has been a new discovery here in America that Jesus was a woman. It might be an idea to get the young lady who discovered this to the Oval Office. Yes, yes, Digby. I have heard of this phenomenon. What do you think our policy should be regarding this Jesus issue? Well, I have been engaged with many of our political advisors, and the thinking is that we should embrace this new movement and be seen to do so. We could be labeled as misogynists if we don't. Okay, Digby. Get this young lady in and welcome her with the red carpet. I think we have no choice. The Women's Church of Social Justice are making a lot of noise about this, and they could cause us a lot of problems if we get them offside. Cunt. You had better get used to this place as it will be your home for a long while. I will make it my life's mission to make sure you are never released. Not while I breathe there. Officer, I swear I had nothing to do with the fire. Why don't you ask Mrs. Benson? I was there that night. I slept in the guest room and left at 8 in the morning. She will ratify that. She is a solid alibi. I don't think we should bother her now. Women have better things to do with their time than get down with the rats and fleas. I'm asking you to speak to her as a person, not a woman. Don't you think that's a little bit sexist? Not at all, officer. I have a lot of respect for women. It's just that. I'm innocent. It would cost Mrs. Benson 30 minutes of her time at the most, yet I may be here for years and years. You talk like she has nothing better to do, young man. Just because she's a woman, doesn't mean she's at your beck and call. We don't tolerate misogyny in this force. Who the hell are you, cunt? Digby. Yes, Mr. President, sir. Can you organize a flight for the Jesus school kid and her friend as soon as possible? Consider it done, sir. Wow, finally we get to do something for women. We're off to meet the president. Until now, I'd swear women were the forgotten people. Do you know if all the blows from men to women in a single day in America were done at the same time? The combined fist force would be so great that it would slow the Earth's rotation down by 15 days a year. Well done, guys. Ooh, yeah. We are so proud of you guys. Fucking bastards. Yes. Real fucking bastards. And most men are so stupid that they can't count over 10 because they run out of fingers. They're stupid, aren't they? It's like the world is a ginormous child care center. Not a child care center. A crash. And most men think the Shroud of Turin is a 1980s heavy metal song. Ooh yeah. Most males think the Magna Carta is a deluxe ice cream at the 7-Eleven. I just can't believe how fucking stupid males are. Most males think about their penis for at least 7 hours a day. And their balls for 4 hours. Really? Their balls? Yes. Two hours each ball. Per day. I'm not surprised. But what is there to think about? With the balls? Who knows? I mean, we are talking about males. We, at the Pentagon, are very proud to introduce you to Paula Jones and Loy Finley. <laughs>